in a congregation that constituted parliamentarians, high-level politicians like Lord Mayor and Yasul Kwago, the U.S. Ambassador to Uganda, Natalie Bryan, and high-ranking statesmen, and achieving a was vocal on insecurity. He called for an inquest into school fires and machete episodes across the country. Very disheartening. Some of these schools have been set ablaze. I wish to ask police and the security organs in the country to investigate the causes of these you are, uh, problems in these schools, who is setting them ablaze. I don't believe it is an accident. I believe this is arsenal of the highest order. Please put to book all of those who are behind this problem, short of which our youngsters might suffer. We shall lose properties here and there. It is celebrations come at the backdrop of distress over prices of commodities in the previous weeks. Nachiving advises government to scale down taxes. Despite the rising costs of some of the essential commodities, but at least we are alive. We only pray to those charged with the economic affairs of the country to see what they can do about the rising costs of these essential commodities. Recently, a group of Muslims were hosted at a state house in a much publicized reconciliation between the factions of Chiburi and Old Kampala. He referred to participants as self seekers. Needless to say, that those who subscribe to the office of the Supreme Mufti based in Chiburi, we are ready to engage anyone to get involved in, in any discussion which can help us resolve some of our issues only if and only if we are candid and we look at those issues square on the table with honesty and sincerity. Eid al-Fitli marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The report is compiled by Chris Semalem Semakula for CTVP Medition.